good morning to all of you now moving ahead to session 5 i professor khyati patel from ass department welcome you i must say that we really feel honor and privileged to have our speaker dr kausal patel sir once again for session 5 dr, uh, dr. kausal sir is always been justful and truly experienced we that each in his previous session we felt his session very interesting yesterday i believe that we will also experience the same today now i hand over session to doc dr kaushal patel sir please sir. thank you Okay, my screen is visible to all. Of you. Yes, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, so actually, today uh, my topic is based on linear algebra, and I discuss about the the application of linear algebra. And uh, might be uh, at begin uh, we can start with the certain concept of linear algebra because it is very necessary to understand the linear algebra first. What are uh, where we use and how it can be used, and then uh, we can switch towards the application because. the linear algebra we are uh, there are so many things that are uh, uh, we have but we cannot know or we are not knowing about how it can be applicable so that's why we can start with the certain concept of linear algebra and then we can switch towards their applications okay so let's uh, we can start with the linear algebra and uh, we can find out the definition actually i just collect this definition from the wikipedia it's a linear algebra is a branch of mathematics concerning vector space and linear mapping between such spaces uh, might be uh, if we are uh, deal with uh, this definition uh, then might be the normal person can cannot understand how it can be uh, done actually it's again a linear algebra is a branch of mathematics that is fine concerning vector space yeah might be someone knows about the vector space uh, might be there is a vector in a space that is called vector space might be and uh, what about linear mapping still uh, uh, no one understand about the how the we can define the linear uh, mapping between the vector so it is quite uh, difficult to understand actually uh, so uh, can be other way we can go with that actually so uh, so here uh, my task is to nothing but the, we can uh, make uh, my lecture as lucid as possible because it can be transferred to the students as well as the faculty those who are not uh, that much aware about the linear algebra so my uh, i just dilute this particular topic in the form of uh, it can be visualized and it might be applicable so that's why uh, here i can just made up this definition uh, i feel comfortable it is a study of system of linear equation so whenever uh, there is a study whenever there is a system of equation linear equations are there and we can study of that that is a, 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 a call as a linear algebra actually uh, so uh, this is a, uh, at, uh, in session i use the study to get the what the uh, to uh, get the behavior of the what linear equations so uh, now i can just go with the uh, function uh, there is a two things actually uh, one is a equation uh, it is a system of linear equations so now there is again a problem with uh, what is a function and what is equation actually so can anyone say about what is function and what is equation and what are the difference between that if anyone knows about that can we say that every equation is a function or we can say that every function is a equation or might be they are different because this is a two terms actually that we always deal with the what whenever we face a application so always we have a one functional relationship between the what variables and other thing is nothing but we can might be form as an equation so uh, is there any uh, say uh, similarity or might be difference you can get from function and equation is anyone having the idea about what is a function and equations and uh, how we can uh, the function is different from equation can can anyone uh, give me the idea about that sir yeah 
सर फंक्शन इज बेसिकली रिलेशन बिटवीन डिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल यो बट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू एवरी फंक्शन इज इक्वेशन ओके हाँ सर बट इक्वेशन इज जनरली डिफाइंड एज एनी गिवन रिलेशन विल बी इक्वेटेड टू जीरो इट इज सेट टू बी इक्वेशन दैट इज गुड ओके सर देन टू पास द एनी वैल्यू ऑफ वेरिएबल एंड सेटिस्फाई सर्टन क्राइटेरिया वी से इक्वेशन अदरवाइज ओके ओके दैट इज फाइन एक्चुअली दैट इज गुड एट एंड एक्चुअली लेट्स आई कैन जस्ट फोकस ऑन दैट एक्चुअली an equation is a expression means uh, you can say about there is a, a dependency of variable and that equate to other ones actually they equate to zero so equation is a two expression with equal sign means here we have two equation uh, two equi- expression other one is y other is 2x plus 1 and uh, that may be have our equality sign between this two two expression so y is called also again it is a variable fine x is variable but it is considered as expression there is a two expression I have equal to sign uh this is called equation a function is an expression or a formula the same things that can be represented in the form of function also a function is expression a formula might be uh, it, this is called a interrelationship between the variable uh one input values gives the one output values and we can say that 2x plus 1 is expression that could be named as a fx so that uh, why is here we consider as fx so in this particular case we can say that equation and function both are same but can we have a certain forms other forms in which the function and equation has a different weight forms so yes i can just uh, define the particular domain of function and equation uh, so might be green one is a equation red one is a function actually so this is a function uh, there are certain set of equations that are not function and there are certain set of function that are not equation and uh, there are certain common functions that are equations here i give you one example in which uh, it is a function and equation both are same so let's equation so let's here we can say that x square plus y square equal to 1 x square plus y square equal to 1 so we can say that it is a equation and the second thing is nothing but here we can say that fx equal to mod x is a function but it is not equation actually and fx equal to my 1 minus 1 this is a function it is not equation and we can say that it is y is equal to 4x minus 1 is this is this call as a function as well as equation also so why uh, how it can be differ so let's we can just go with a certain example uh, x plus y is equal to 1 we can say that y is equal to x plus 1 means here we can put one value of x we can get one value of y so we can say it is one to one follow then uh, we can say that it is a function actually so uh, this is a y is equal to x plus 1 it gives a what a straight line actually we can just go with the graphical form and we can say that it is a function okay uh, second thing is the x square plus y square equal to 1 i already say that it is a equation but it is not function why it is so so let's it can be considered as y square is equal to 1 minus x square and y is equal to plus or minus 1 it is nothing but a plus or minus under root 1 minus x square means a particular value of x we can get two different value of y so whenever there is only one value reflected we can say that it is a function if it is a more than one value we can say that it is not a function because for particular one value we can get a one value okay so this is input output relation must be preserved in the form of in the form of a uh, function actually so uh, if it is preserved then it is function so here y equal to 0 x equal to 1 so this is a what uh, we have the uh well, the graph of uh, that particular x square plus y square equal to 1 is a circle now next thing is nothing but x square plus y is equal to 1 we can say that y is equal to x square plus 1 and it is a function because one value would put in x we can get one value of y and the other thing is nothing but uh, we have x plus y square equal to 1 uh, that consider as y square equal to 1 minus x and that is y is equal to uh, plus uh, plus or minus under root 1 minus x square this is not a function actually because one value of x we can get two different value of x so this is nothing but the the graph of uh, green one and blue one actually now there is another test is also be there uh, we can have a, a vertical line text uh, test actually so this is a line uh, we can pass and if it is passes through uh, a single point then we can say that is the uh, function now this line is passes through two point different point then this is not a function uh, green one is not a function but blue one is a function so this is the way we can check from the graph also 
whether this this is a function or this is an equation. Now we can we can uh, go with the linear equation because function and uh, e uh, equation now it is clear. Now uh, we can so go with the linear equation. So any pattern of number that is increasing and decreasing by the sum amount uh, over over the step. So we can say that uh, there's a particular pattern of number that might be increasing or decreasing or might be this stable with the what uh, different times or, or different step level. Then we can say that it is a linear. So uh, for linearization, uh, we have two uh, different things actually, where the patterns begins and uh, where uh, how it moves actually. So uh, this is a simple equation uh, that can be considered as a linear equation. Uh, here what we are considered as begins, that is considered as B, and how it moves, that gives a what? Uh, the M. So Y is equal to MX plus B, that gives a simple equation. Uh, and it is called a linear equation. Now, uh, there are certain examples that I take uh, as a linear form. So suppose we can uh, purchase an old car uh, with uh, uh, 20,000 kilometer. Uh, old actually, it can be uh, already whenever I purchase, it already travels the 27,000 kilometer and I used to travel 12,000 kilometer per year on average. So we can set uh, from this equation is nothing but y is equal to uh, 1 to uh, 12,000 kilometer per year means whenever I put the number of years, uh, then uh, whatever the, the how much uh, it can be travel, it is travel that is reflected and 20,000 kilometer when I purchase the old car, uh, it is already with the what 20,000 kilometer. Similarly, we can say that after the X years of purchasing of old car, what will be the kilometer it will be traveled. So that can be reflected using the what simple linear equation. Uh, suppose I can uh, uh, purchase a house and uh, the cost of house is nothing but 20,000, uh, 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 2,700 rupees per square feet. And the cost of house is uh, directly defined, depends on Y is equal to 2700 multiplied by X. Here, uh, the beginning is zero because uh, uh, it does not give one actually. So that's why we can say that it might be uh, a beginning point is there or might be beginning point is absent on the uh, still we can get to what it is a linear equations. Now, uh, we always know that the what is linear and what is nonlinear. So whenever uh, uh, those who are knowing about the things, uh, it is a straight line that is considered as linear. When the line is not straight, we can consider as a nonlinear. So uh, how? Uh, what is the solving of equation? Uh, there is another task uh, in a linear algebra. So we can just deal with the linear general form of linear equation that can be defined as a1x plus a2x2 plus uh, a and xn equal to b1. Now, uh, suppose we can have uh, this equation minus x plus pi y minus root, z, root 2z is equal to 0 0.07. Now we compare actually a1 is equal to minus 1, a2 is equal to pi a3 is equal to minus root 2 and b1 equal to 0 0.07, we can say that it is a linear form. Suppose we can just go with this one, 2x minus y plus 6 is equal to 13 minus 4x, uh, then we can rearrange it and uh, finally we can get 6x minus y is equal to 7 and we can say that a1 is equal to 6, a2 is equal to minus 1 and b1 equal to 7, then we can say that it is a linear. And suppose we can go with this one, it is root x plus 1 upon y is equal to wz, minus 10 so for simplified after simplified we can say that x raised to 1 by 2 y raised to minus 1 wz is equal to 10 here we can say that uh, here the coefficient of x1 is nothing but uh, x is nothing but a1 is 1 but it has in power actually x raised to 1 by 2 power is not allowed in a linear system so we can say that it is a non-linear system here y is minus 1 still power is 1 Whenever we have the power is one, then we can say that it is linear. Otherwise, we can say that non-linear. So on the basis of that, we can check the power of the equations and we can get that uh, whether the equation is linear or non-linear. The solution of equation, uh, which can give the uh, variable that makes the equation true. So suppose we can have x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 and z is equal to minus 1 is a solution of this equation. x minus 4, y minus 5 equal to 7. We just substitute the value and we can get achieve uh, the 70 reason from left hand side and right hand side we can say that uh, it is a what uh, satisfied or uh, this uh, this value uh, has a solid is a solution of this particular equation similarly we have a system of equation and uh, this system of equation also uh, uh, having the what uh, the common value that satisfied by the what both the equation 
a linear of the equation is a collection of what the, uh, one or more linear equation involving the same uh, variables and the solution of, uh, to a system of linear equation is a value for each value variable that makes each equation true simultaneously suppose we can have a uh, suppose uh, the particular equation is of n variables and uh, for uh, n different values actually a particular values n couple we can get the what this uh, we can achieve the solution of that particular equations now suppose we can just go with the whether the minus 3 8 4 is the solution of the system of equation so here the, we have this the system we just substitute x uh, to x first we are taking the first equation we substitute the value and we can achieve that the 8 is equal to 8 whenever i can go with the second equations we just substitute the value and we can achieve that the minus 19 is equal to minus 7 means second equation is not satisfied by the what this set of equation uh, triples so we can say that the, this system of equation never satisfied by what uh, this uh, triples so that's why and uh, this particular equation is always satisfied by uh, this triples so uh, this is the way we can check whether the solution is given or not now uh, uh, there is whenever we deal with the linear algebra uh, and it has a system of equation we have either get the one solution many solution and no solution so uh, you can understand by the graph also when uh, there is a two equations or lines uh, they are uh, touch at the single point we can say that it is a one, it has a one solution when it is not touch at the uh, one point it is uh, intersection means both the lines are same then definitely we can say that it has a many solution and uh, the two lines they are parallel they are not intersecting each other then it does not have a uh, solution so this is the one actually the in one type of solution in uh, one solution we can just uh, 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 this is the way we can uh, check whether it has a what consistency value or not and the both value are what independent uh, it is not depends on the first one whenever we can go with the many solution suppose we can uh, use this system of equation and uh, using the uh, uh, subtractions of uh, the corresponding uh, variables we can achieve that 0x plus 0y is equal to 0 here 0 equal to 0 that can be achieved but here it is not uh, we, it not be clarified that what are the value of x and y that we can select so that we can achieve this problem so here we can uh, independent actually uh, 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 of value of x and y then uh, that not be satisfied so that's why we can say that x and y must be dependent and uh, the value is itself uh, uh, the consistent because left hand side and right hand side both the value is satisfied so we can say that it is consistent now when no solution means uh, the solution itself not inconsistent because uh, right hand side we have two value and left hand side we have a zero value so we can say that the system is inconsistent so this is the way we can check whether uh, the particular system of equation has a one solution many solution and no solution now uh, we know that whenever we deal with the fundamental uh, 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 fundamental element uh, in a linear algebra we consider as a vector because we study the definition of linear algebra the vector space is a fundamental forms of uh, terms in a what uh, linear algebra so let's vector what is a vector actually so vector has a different meaning in in uh, every sense actually in a, a different different stream of uh, a vector in a physics is a different vector in a computer is a different and vector in a mathematics is a different so let's we can just go with the how it can be different so vector is, in a physics is an arrow uh, consider in a physics form is a arrow point in a space it has a length actually and it has a direction of pointing so uh, uh, it has a beginning point it has an end point it may be directed actually and it has a length uh, so and definitely it moves in a space and it is the same vector when uh, it is at one place or it might be um, uh, moved to the other place and it has the same vectors so it does not change actually uh, and it is of two dimension three dimension also there are num uh, dimension of the vector is also be there so generally we can define as a uh, one dimension vector is not possible we can define the vector in two dimension or three dimension so this is a two, uh, two dimension vector and this might be a three dimension vector so vector in a phoenix is an arrow it has a length it has a direction it cannot be changed with the what uh, it can be trans transferred from one place to another place and uh, it is a of uh, several dimensions also whenever we go with the computer science uh, a vector 
is a list of numbers uh, and uh, this is number 215003 uh, this is nothing but the list actually and it is an order list of number means you cannot change the uh, uh, two and one means uh, it is two first and second one so we cannot replace it so we can always define as it is an order list of numbers so let's uh, how it can be uh, suppose uh, we can have uh, uh, that particular house uh, square feet of this house is nothing but 2600 and its uh, price is nothing but dollar of 3 lakh so we can say that we can say that uh, this is nothing but 2600 foot square and it is a uh, uh, value is nothing but 3 lakh so we cannot alter 3 lakhs and 2 uh, uh, 2600 square feet so it has a different meaning so it is of two dimension uh, now vector in mathematics so we know that a vector in mathematics can be defined as 3 and 5 but what is meaning of 3 and 5 the 3 direction is in x direction uh, okay sorry uh, so 3 and 5 so v uh, and w with the two vector first vector is 3 and 5 minus 5 second vector is nothing but 2 and 1 uh, uh, we can get the resultant vector is nothing but the addition of two vector so this is nothing but 3 plus 2 and 5 minus 5 plus 1 similarly we can get uh, 5 minus 4 uh, this may be uh, multiplied by uh, this vector v is nothing but uh, 2v so this is 3 and minus 5 we multiply by this one and this is nothing but the fundamental properties of vectors actually the fundamental operation on a vector is nothing but a vector addition and scalar multiplication that we can uh, 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 use in a mathematics but uh, can we say that the vector in mathematics is nothing but the same as nothing but the vector in physics yes suppose uh, we have a vector so this is nothing but here we have one two three and four vector the four vector can be defined in its own way actually so this is nothing but zero and four so x direction it moves in a four direction and y direction it is zero so uh, every vector every other vectors has their own properties uh, they have the, their own triplets actually own uh, own order pairs so on the basis of that their vector is uniquely identified actually and uh, their starting point is always be our origin okay so whenever we go with the yellow vectors this is nothing but the, we can shift uh, minus 2 direction in x direction and uh, in y direction it is a 3 so this is the way this particular vector is identified so every point in the space has a unique representation as a vector uh, so uh, it is a fundamental properties of vector in mathematics so uh, this is nothing but the solution of system of equation uh, how we can uh, achieve this is also a requirement of uh, the solution uh, of the system of equation so there are nothing but the solution of system of equation using row method we can use the column method also there is a matrix method is uh, uh, available eigenvalues method Kramer's rule row equivalent form and row reduce equivalent form so I just uh, go through quickly to that actually and then switch towards the application so row method we can just uh, make that uh, here 2x plus uh, 2x minus y equal to 0 so it is in a Cartesian coordinates plane uh, we can draw the line of 2x minus y equal to 0 draw the line of x minus 2y so this is a green line that represents the 2x minus y equal to 0 draw the line of x minus 2y equal to 3 and uh, the intersection point that gives the what uh, the solution of that particular point the so point of intersection gives the solution so this is 1 and 2 and this is a solution of that particular otherwise you can just uh, subtract the uh, the particular variable and uh, uh, the check the dependency of one variable to the other other variable and solve it in a common uh, column vectors uh, that can be defined in the column vec uh, vector actually 2 minus 1 uh, minus 1 2 y this is equal to 0 3 so 2 minus 1 x plus minus 1 2 uh, y is equal to 0 3 so now uh, this is a nothing but 2 minus 1 uh, minus 1 2 uh, so this is nothing but 2 vector and uh, we have to find out which linear combination of these two vectors produce 0 3 means what the value of x and y we can put so that we can get what 0 3 vector so it is like exactly this one 2 minus 1 is a yellow yellow one 2 minus 1 it is in 2 and minus 1 is in uh, this direction minus sign minus of y so it gives this vector similarly whenever we have minus 1 2 so minus 1 uh, and 2 is minus 1 in x direction and 2 is in y direction so it gives this now 
uh, we can just shift it uh, one vector to another and our target is to wet you this point is 0 3 0 3 is over here so we can just uh, take the double vector of this one blue one so and we can achieve 0 3 so we can say that x is equal to 1 and y equal to 2 gives the linear combination and this is a nothing but the possible solution of what uh, this uh, system of equations so this is a column method and whenever you deal with the vector so physically you can see that how it can be reflected uh, to the solution similarly matrix method you can have what you can convert into matrix form a is equal to 2 minus 1 minus 1 2 b is nothing but 0 3 x equal to b you can take x equal to inverse of a multiplied by b and you can achieve the result so this is the form uh, this is nothing but eigenvalue and eigenvector so eigenvalue and eigenvector may be the case of uh, how you can uh, get the what eigenvalues let's i can just go through the matlab forms and here there is nothing but eigen show uh, how it can be reflected how it can be visualized so this is like what one three and four two uh, this is a, a matrix actually and uh, we can change the value of ax actually how how it can be so this is nothing but uh, whenever uh, this is x vector x vector and a is a matrix we multiply ax then it can be reflected to the other point in the space so now this is nothing but the several pace it can be uh, defined actually and this is the nothing but the now what is the eigen value actually so let's i can just go with whenever it touches to the blue line and green line both together the resultant vector might be amplified whenever it is amplified then we can say that it is eigen values okay and uh, this is nothing but exactly in a, this particular way uh, we can get the opposite vector it is in a collinear plane uh, it is in a straight line so we again say that it is also eigen value so whenever we go through the two by two matrix because here we consider as a two dimensional plane so we can say that it is related with the uh, two eigen value that we can achieve from this one so this is nothing but the this two values one value it is exactly the same as what it is reflected uh, so this first value and this become the second value so this two value we can achieve from the what eigen show uh, again uh, we can change this one suppose i can just take check this value so this is nothing but uh, it is not uh, okay let's i can check check whether it has a, a coincide or not oh uh, this is not coincides means it does not have eigen value so this does not uh, this particular problem is not solvable with the eigen value and it does not uh, reflect the eigen values at all okay so this is the way we can check uh, how the eigen value may affect to the solution of the problem okay so let's uh, i can just go with the eigenvalue method for solving a system of differential equation yes uh, uh, this is also be a true for uh, solving the system of linear differential equation it is not for non linear uh, but it is a linear differential equation suppose my equation is same but in right hand side we have dx by dt and dy by dt so let's uh, this is nothing but a we can find out the eigenvalues as usual you can find out and uh, uh, whenever we can get uh, from the, the standard forms we can set the eigenvalue is 3 and eigenvector is this one for eigenvalue 1 we can get eigenvector of this one so this is the solution of this system of linear differential equation is nothing but x is equal to c1 minus 1 1 e raised to 3t plus c2 1 1 this is eigenvector corresponding to eigenvalues so we can make this way uh, getting the what the solution of that particular equation system of equation linear equation Again, we can just go with the Kramer's rule and we can achieve the what? The same results. So everyone know about the Kramer rule and uh, this is here. I can totally focus on how to what the equations, how it can be look like. What is the difference between linear and nonlinear equations? How you can solve system of equations and other behaviors? So this is a row equivalent form is nothing but whenever we have a system of equation, we convert into the lower triangular matrix and we can achieve the results. Similarly, row reduce equivalent form in which we can uh, make the diagonal matrix only. Uh, uh, lower triangular and upper triangular must be zero, and uh, we can directly achieve. This is called a Gauss elimination method, and uh, we can achieve the result. So this is row reduce equivalent form. So this is nothing but the, the several techniques to solve uh, a system of linear equations, and uh, we can achieve the result from that. Okay, now. Uh, that's fine. Uh, now we can uh, just uh, go to the uh, applications of linear uh, system of linear equation. So here I can have a number of applications 
regarding uh, related with the linear equations, uh, traffic flow, balancing of chemical reactions, electric network, network cryptography, uh, geometrical applications, population and growth, we can use the linear equations, genetic algorithms, uh, genetic uh, uh, patterns that we have to identify with the linear equations and method of elimination. Uh, that is a, a good use of, uh, in which we can use a, a, a linear equation. Now, uh, this is the first application that we are focused uh, is nothing but linear traffic flow, uh, traffic flow model. Uh, it is a typical network diagram actually uh, of roads. It is a single way actually. It is a one way of a street and it is a part of your whole network. So let's, uh, we have a directed forms. Uh, it is a nothing but the graph with the directions. Uh, it has a certain entry points and certain exit points. So these are might be the entry points and this are might be the exit point and uh, the flow of the traffic uh, that can be uh, shown over here. Now, uh, there are certain data actually uh, uh, on the basis of that uh, we can uh, solve this problem, find out the flow rate of the cars on each segment of the street. But for that we require the data. So let's uh, uh, there are certain 85 cars that uh, may enter from this point, uh, 120 cars per hour uh, may exit from this uh, point, uh, 70 cars per hour may, uh, may be on that particular lane, uh, C2D lane, uh, and uh, 45 cars uh, per hour may be uh, travel from D to B. Uh, okay, the other data is not be given, so let's we can uh, make the variable name over there. So from A to B, there are X1 cars, A to C, uh, we have X2 cars, uh, C to B, we have X3 cars, uh, X4 car may be entered from this particular region. Is there any left? Yes, X5 is there nothing but the, the X5 car may be left from this particular things. So now uh, here, uh, whatever the information we have, we can put it there. Uh, the information is not be available that uh, we can put with the variables. So here we have, x1, x2, x3, x4, x5 are the variables uh, and uh, there are nothing but 85, 120, 70 and 45 will be the, uh, the data that is already available with us. Now with the use of this data we have to find out the, what the value of this cost. So now our observation, the flow into uh, intersection is equal to flow out of that intersections. So this is the intersections point actually. This is a particular uh, the intersection of the whole railway uh, whole roadmap um, uh, network, and we can just uh, take the one the part of that. So in that particular uh, whole network, uh, how much car go inside and how much car left to that particular network, uh, both are same actually. There are no car insides, so we must follow the equation of continuity for that. The total flow in is equal to total flow out. So in minus in equal to out means here. We have how many cars are enters to that particular point? It is 85. How many cars enter to that particular point is 80, uh, sorry, X4. How many cars left uh, at that particular point is 120. And how many cars are left from the point X5? Uh, this, uh, D, uh, this particular point is nothing but X5. So total car in is nothing but 85 plus X4. Total car out from this network is 120 plus X5. Similarly, at point A, because this is a junction point. So here we can have a, uh, uh, a particular relation. Whatever the car that entered into A, that must be leave from A. So that's why here 85 cars entered to A and it is leave uh, in the form of X1 and X2. So this 85 is nothing but X1 plus X2. So here we can just go with the at point, uh, what is the relationship between the, what are the relationship between the what? The variable and constant. At point B, so X1 is enter, X3 is enter, 45 is enter, and 120 leave. So X1 plus X3 plus 45 is equal to 120. Similarly, this is a, a C point. Uh, here we can say that it is X4 car may enter, X2 car enter, uh, X3 and uh, 70 cars may leave the, that particular point. So X2 plus X4 is equal to 70 plus X3. Similarly, at point D, uh, there are uh, the 70 cars entered to that particular point and uh, uh, from uh, leave, uh, might be this 45 car leave and X5 car leave from that particular point. So 70 is nothing but 45 plus X5. Now, 
uh, we can rearrange that actually. So this is nothing but the, uh, the previous form of data, whatever uh, that is available to us. Uh, now uh, here x4 plus x5. So variable we can kept at one side and the constant at other sides. So x4 plus x5 that is equal to 35. Similarly, x1 plus x2 is 85. Similarly, x1 plus x3 is 75. X, x2 minus x3 plus x4 is equal to 70. And x5 is equal to 25. So this is the form actually. And we can convert into matrix. Uh, so this one is x1, x2, x3, x4, x5. And uh, this all are constant. So this is nothing but the first equation is x4 plus x5. So x4 having the uh, coefficient 1 x5 is a coefficient 1 and it is 35. x1 plus x2 is 85, x1, x2, 85, x1, x3, x1, x3 and 75. This is only x2 minus x3. So x2 minus x3 plus x4 that is 70 and x5 is 25. So whenever we convert into the row reduce equivalent or row equivalent form and we can get this values. Okay, so this is nothing but the standard technique is useful to solve the system of equation. So that's why I cover in previous form previously. So now this is the equation. Uh, now uh, just uh, this equation can be converted. Uh, this matrix again converted into the equations. So here x1 is equal to 75 minus x3. In second one x2 is equal to 10 plus x3. This one is nothing but x4 is equal to 60 x5 is equal to 25. Uh, so this is after the uh, converting the matrix form to the equation, we can achieve the certain relation. Here uh, we have uh, x1, x2, x4 and x5 are the variables and uh, here we cannot get the value of x3. So we consider that the x3 is a free variable. So we can take the any value of x3 definitely in range. You have to decide that range. And uh, then uh, we can achieve the solution of that particular uh, equations. So here uh, 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 we can get the typical uh, behavior of the traffic uh, in the network that we can get. Okay, so uh, might be it is very useful for you whether uh, if you does not have a proper uh, say information about the traffic in your uh, network, then uh, collect the certain data from the network and then you can uh, achieve the particular result uh, at each and every point, how the traffic flows and where the traffic density is more as compared to others that you can achieve from this one. Okay, uh, now uh, second, uh, second application is uh, balancing a chemical reaction. Uh, generally, we are uh, very much bother about the in 11, 12 standard, there's a chemistry subject in which uh, we have to balance the chemical reactions. So it is a very simple application of linear algebra, but it is very useful for uh, uh, industries actually. So here, uh, whenever you uh, make a new compound of uh, chemical, uh, then uh, the balance uh, equation can be developed. Uh, it's a complicated uh, chemical reactions and complicated uh, for the complicated reactions, we can achieve the uh, balancing form. So uh, this particular application is very uh, fundamental, but it is very useful in the chemical industries. So here we have C3H8. I don't remember the, the compound of uh, this particular form. Uh, C3H8 plus O2 that gives CO2 plus S2. Now, how we can uh, make the, this uh, equation balance? Because here, uh, uh, this is the molecules of carbon is 3 and right hand side we have molecules of carbon is 1. So it is not balanced. Here, the uh, molecules of hydro, hydrogen is 8. Here, uh, molecules of hydrogen is 2. Here oxygen is 2, here oxygen is 2 plus 1 is 3. So it is not in balance. So how we can, we just multiply with a certain constant, uh, sorry, variables. So might be we are considered that the x1 amount of C3H8 plus x2 amount of O2 that gives x3 amount of CO2 plus x4 amount of S2. So this is a variable we can put and we can uh, achieve the result of this particular variable and that may give the what balancing towards what the chemical reactions. So here, the number of x1, x2, x3, x4 are the positive integers because we cannot get the uh, uh, so negative relationship between the uh, this particular reactions. So number of atoms of each uh, elements on the left hand side is the same as the number of atoms on the right hand side that I already discussed about the, the carbon and oxygen and hydrogen. There are three different kind of 
elements are there and uh, their relationship must be a prism at left hand side and right hand side so now here the here we have uh, whenever we have uh, the carbon amount uh, carbon uh, from left side it is nothing but 3 and it multiply by x1 so this is considered as 3x1 right hand side we have only one carbon atoms and that is related with x3 so here i can say that it is x3 hydrogen it is 8x1 here hydrogen is of x2 uh, s2 and it is multiplicative with x4 so this is 2x4 oxygen is 2 so 2x2 and this one is nothing but 2x3 plus x4 so this is nothing but the left hand side and right hand side relationship of carbon uh, uh, means carbon hydrogen and oxygen so now we have this is obviously this is both are equal so 3x1 is equal to x3 8x1 is equal to 2x4 and 2x2 is equal to 2x3 plus x4 so now uh, we can just make it in a proper equations 3x1 minus x3 equal to 0 8x1 minus 2x4 equal to 0 2x2 minus 2x3 minus x4 equal to 0 now we can just make it uh, in the form of whenever we can just put x1 x2 x3 all are zero uh, then uh, the result is uh, trivial actually but uh, if we are not taking all are zero then uh, what happens so we just make in a uh, matrix format it is 3 0 minus 1 0 uh, in x4 uh, this is x1 x2 x3 and x4 now we can just convert into the uh, row reduce equivalent form here we can use the row reduce equivalent form in previous example we can go with the row equivalent form both are same actually uh, uh, but it has a different uh, so interpretation uh, so here i can just go with this one so x1 is equal to 1 by 4 x2 is equal to 5 by 4 x3 is equal to 3 by 4 and x4 is free so now uh, x4 is free means uh, here we can multiply with 4 so this is in uh, rather than it is fraction it can be converted into the what pure integers so here i can just uh, taking the x4 in a such a way uh, it becomes a integer so let's i can just uh, multiply whole equation by 4 whole variable are 4 then it is fine so let's i can take that x4 is 4 so x1 is 1 x2 is 5 x3 is 3 and x4 is 4 so now my relation is nothing but here x1 is 1 so c3h8 plus 5 time o2 plus, that implies that gives 3 co2 plus 4h2 so this is the way we can use a uh, uh, linear algebra as a ba to balance the chemical reactions also okay now next thing is nothing but the uh, electrical network uh, we can uh, get the Uh, the application of uh, linear algebra so now uh, this is a particular circuit we have in which we have a uh, battery uh, and we have the resistors resistors so resistance is defined by the spring and battery is defined by this now uh, how it can be uh, the, our target our task is to uh, how much uh, current is flow inside that particular uh, electric network so now let's we can just go with the uh, it has a uh, two different uh, loops are there uh, this is a one loop actually and this one is the other loop uh, and in which we can find out the current uh, that flow inside that particular loop so current is nothing but the flow a rate of electrical charges the current flow from negative to positive means here it gives a direction actually that may define with the what negative to positive directions so goal is nothing but the compute of current i1 with this link this i2 link i2 link and this i3 link now uh, we can use the physical law uh, for calculating the current inside this particular network so physical law must follow the kirchhoff law so follow uh, the flow uh, into the junction is equal to flow out of the junction so here junction is a and b are the junction and uh, how much current is flow inside in that is nothing but that can be released so from junction a uh, this i1 is come in it come to that particular point okay i2 is also come to that particular point a but i3 is leave that particular point 
So I leave from that point is I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. And second one in that particular junction at B, we have the one incoming current and a two outgoing currents. So I3 is equal to I1 plus I2. Whenever we can just go with the Ohm's law, the voltage drop across the what resistance. So resistance is always uh, dropping the current uh, and uh, always uh, from the battery we can uh, get the currents. So from the second law, uh, Kirchhoff second law, we can say that the uh, voltage gain minus voltage drop across the closed circuit is zero. So using uh, this laws, we can formulate the uh, network uh, diagram, network box. Now, here we have two different uh, electric networks we have. That is the upper, net upper uh, circuit and the lower circuit. So let's, we can just, this is the upper circuit and this one is the lower circuit. So here I can just go with this uh, upper circuit. So from upper circuit, uh, what, what is gain uh, by this uh, is 15 volt. Voltage drop is nothing but, and uh, this uh, this is going in this direction actually, and it is completed the whole circuit actually. So 15 minus, because it is minus, because voltage drop across the resistance is minus two, and it has a current I1. So I1 minus four I3, because voltage drop across uh, this resistance, and it may follow the current I3. So this is uh, I3 minus five, uh, I1. So this is equal to zero. Now from lower loop actually, this is a lower loop in which we have uh, from this, it is a 20 minus two I2 plus, uh, sorry, minus four I3. Okay, I can just go with this one. T, uh, okay, so 20 minus four uh, minus two I. So this is 20 minus four I minus two I equal to zero. So this is nothing but the, the, the electric network and how the current flow uh, in a, each uh, loop. So from one, uh, we have, uh, from the combination of this two, we have I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. Second thing is nothing but 15 minus two I1 minus four I3 minus five I1 equal to zero. And uh, second one, we have 20 minus four I3 minus two I2 equal to zero. Now. Uh, again, uh, we can convert this into the what equations a proper form I1 plus I2 minus I3 equal to 0. 7 I1 because it is I1, 5 I1 minus 2 I1. It is a minus 7 I1, sorry, uh, minus, okay, uh, I may just uh, uh, neglecting the minus sign. It is 7 I1 plus 4 I3 is equal to 50. And the next one is nothing but 2 I2 minus 4 I3 is equal to 20. So this is a three equations, three unknowns. We can easily get from the uh, operations. So here we can uh, make the matrix form of this, and uh, we can uh, use the using the row reduce equivalent form. We can uh, convert into the uh, this forms one zero zero point two zero one zero three point two zero zero one three point four. So we can uh, uh, get the the current flow. Uh, in that particular link, it's I1 is 0.2, means this particular uh, link, uh, this particular form, so we can get the current is 0.2, it flow from B to A, I2, this from B to A at the lower circuit, it travels at 3.2, uh, from A to B in I3 form, it can be, uh, it, it, uh, the current flow in this particular direction is 3.4. So from electric network, we can achieve uh, the certain uh, the current flow inside that particular link also. So this is a, uh, the third application that we describe of linear algebra. Now, uh, that is another uh, nice application of uh, linear algebra is a cryptography. Uh, in number theory, we can uh, use a linear algebra vast because uh, now uh, there is a message is encoded and decoded. So uh, at that particular point, the, the linear algebra is very much useful. The encryption and the descript, uh, descriptions require use of some secret information, usually referred as to a key. Uh, for example, let the message uh, to be, uh, suppose I want to convert this message into the encrypted forms and then decrypt it uh, by the, uh, the particular code actually. The prepare to negotiate uh, 
here this is nothing but the one string and that string can be converted into the one encrypted forms so let's we can assign a number of each letter of the alphabet uh, so now uh, we can assign uh, a particular number to that particular alphabet so this is a one technique here we describe you can use their own uh, set of numbers to generate your own uh, cryptid uh, or encryptions actually so here uh, we can arrange uh, our abcd and assign each letter to a unique number uh, so here we have uh, a to z uh, we can assign the number is 1 to 26 let's we can have a space also because this particular uh, statement has a space so let's uh, we can uh, uh, have a space as 27 number and might be uh, there are particular string has a number also so let's we can just uh, develop the number uh, also so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 so it has a number 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 and 37 so now uh, this is nothing but the uh, the uh, we assigning the number to uh, each character so here we consider that the 1 2 3 are uh, not a number it's a character the space is also a character and it, it has given number 27 now the original message is nothing but the prepare to negotiate uh, let's we can arrange in the form of this one so p uh, we can get the p assigned value is 16 so 16 r as a assigned value is 80 p assigned value is 5 p 16 a 1 r 18 e 5 there is a space now we can get the assigned value of space is 27 t 20 o 15 space again it's a 27 and 14 e 5 g 7 o 15 t 20 i 9 a 1 t 20 and e 5 now this is not the message actually still uh, this is a till a still a proper message because we just assigned the value now we are converting into the what three by three matrix so this is now the linear algebra comes into the picture actually since we are using three by three matrix you can develop your own matrix also it is not necessary that uh, you have to just go through the three by three matrix you can assign your own matrix and uh, you can convert into your own uh, matrix format also so we can break the number by this it is a 16 18 and 5 so this is nothing but next number is nothing but 16 1 and 18 next number is 5 27 20 15 27 14 5 7 15 20 9 1 25 the next number is not be available because uh, it is not necessary that the the string must be divided by uh, 3 only so it is not so we can put the as many uh, the left term that with the space it's the 27 so the last number we can kept as a what a space variable and the space never uh, get the uh, values actually so this is nothing but the one matrix that we can create now still uh, this is not the encrypted forms by multiplying the encoding matrix to this matrix we can encrypt by the message so now this is a lock actually now we can make the key matrix so key is nothing but minus 3 3 minus 4 0 1 1 4 3 4 this particular matrix is random matrix so you can take your own matrix to what encrypted this one so that's why the cryptography is much more difficult to what decrypt whenever encryption is there decryption is also be there but you have to uh, find out the key of that and it is very difficult to judge the key so this is the one random matrix that we can take and we multiply by this matrix because here we have three by seven matrix three rows and seven columns and here uh, we can make the key matrix as three by three the resultant matrix is nothing but uh, three by seven so now uh, after multiplying this matrix we can get what uh, this encrypted matrix and this is now encrypted forms now you have to send this message to the what uh, the end user also uh, the other user also and now the decrypt uh, the message we have to multiply this matrix to what inverse of encoding matrix so let's so what is the decryption of this particular how we can decrypt 
so here we can use the the encrypted file is nothing but encrypted matrix is nothing but this one we can find out the inverse matrix of this and we multiply with the what the whatever the resultant matrix so here uh, the, we can take the inverse matrix and we again multiply by this one then it definitely back to what this forms so this is the inverse of encoding matrix is a decoding matrix and it is given by this one we multiply again by the what the resultant matrix and we can achieve the what the results so this is the what uh, this is the how the cryptography can uh, is work uh, in a what uh, a linear form, uh, algebra now uh, there's a next application is a uh, geometrical applications so uh, uh, this is a somehow uh, this uh, given some fixed point in a plane in a 3d space the many problems required to finding the some geometric figure passing through what this points so whenever uh, in a, we have a 3d space and we ha have what a uh, two points in the inside the space and we have to find out the which kind of equation satisfied by this particular uh, two points means uh, there is a one whenever we have a point two point then there is a one one line that passes through that particular point so uh, how we can achieve this one uh, what is the equation of that particular line so this is nothing but the geometrical application and uh, one step ahead suppose we have this is particular uh, this particular application is related with the kepler's motion kepler's motion is associated with the what uh, uh, geometrical orbits uh, or planet orbits and uh, we are not exactly find the orbit at each and every point uh, every time but uh, at particular points we can uh, locate the particular planet at that particular points we collect the certain information at that particular point and then we can uh, track uh, or we can make the whole orbit of that planet also so this is a very nice application of linear algebra in terms of uh, uh, geographical uh, matters the example where we are going to see in this particular uh, require the knowledge of solving the linear equation and computing the determinants the application one let's we have a two points x1 and y1 uh, that is a location of that particular point x2 and with a particular reference and x2 and y2 be the other point now find the equation of the straight line that passes through what a1 and a2 how we can so let's we can just go with the solution of m uh, that might be uh, the equation of line that has a parameter x and y the arbitrary point on any l whenever we draw the line so two point is fixed now what about other points that we can consider as the, the other points may have a what x and y then one can find out the three constants a b c with the satisfying the what the line actually x plus by equal to c uh, ax plus by plus c equal to zero since this particular line is also passes through what this two point x1 and y1 uh, x1 y1 and x2 y2 so definitely it has a other two equations that has what ax1 plus by1 plus c equal to zero Similarly, we have a plus a, ax2 plus by2 plus c equal to 0. Now, we have total three equations, ax plus by plus c equal to 0, ax1 plus by1 plus c equal to 0, ax2 plus by2 plus c equal to 0. Now, we know that, suppose we can since uh, we know that uh, we have to identify the three constant a, b, c. And that will give the what? At least one solution that a, b, c. Now, However, uh, if uh, we know that the ABC is a solution, definitely the multiplication of this particular values is also be a solution of that particular problem. So therefore, we have to determine the coefficient matrix must be zero. So here we can consider that the C is one. So uh, let's we can consider X, Y, one, X, one, Y, one, one, X, two, Y, two, one. Suppose uh, we can say that uh, my first point is minus one, two, and the second point is nothing but zero, one then equation of line is nothing but x y1 it is minus one we substitute x1 is minus one and x y1 is two similarly we can substitute the x2 is equal to zero and y2 is equal to one and we can get this equations and we can uh, achieve the equation of that particular line that passes through minus one and two or uh, the minus one two and uh, zero one is nothing but x plus y is equal to minus one now there is one step ahead of that you can uh, miss passes through the end dimension also using this way. Uh, here the application uh, is nothing but the same one. Uh, instead of two values, two points, we have three well points and that are not uh, in the same line. That is not coplanar. 
uh, might be coplanar, but uh, it is not in a not in a same line. So find the equation of circle going through this point. So let uh, similarly whatever the earlier approach that we can follow this one. So m is equal to x y is the arbitrary point on the circle, and then we can write down the equation of uh, equation like a. This is x square plus y square plus b x plus c y plus t equal to zero. So here we have two points. Uh, it is in a two-dimension uh, plane only. So that's why here we have the two uh, uh, set set of two values x1 and y1, x2, y2, x3, y3. So similarly, whenever we go with the general equation, that is also in a in a what same plane actually, and uh, it has a two uh, one is in x direction, other is in y direction. So here we can consider that the a x square plus y square plus b x plus c y plus t. Now, again, uh, already uh, it, uh, definitely this particular equation must satisfy uh, the other uh, uh, other points also. So here we can just uh, uh, using this a x one square plus y one square plus b x one plus c y one plus d equal to zero. It also passes through the second point. Is also passes through the third point. And whenever we just uh, 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 make in a determinant form, this one is x square plus y square x y one. This one is x one square plus y one square x one y one one. X two square plus y two square is nothing but x two y two one. X three square plus y three square is x three y three one. Now, suppose the three point is given, then we just substitute the values, and ultimately the resultant of this one is nothing but x square plus y square x y one. And uh, these are the values we can calculate it from this a one because this one is nothing but one square plus one square something is nothing but like this way. Uh, okay, this is nothing but x one x one square plus y one square. So x one square is one square plus zero square that is one. That is minus one square plus two square is four plus one is five and this way three square is nine plus one is ten one zero minus one two three one that is one one one. And this is uh, uh, the equation of circle, and the circle has a center point is seven by six, and thirteen by six is the center, and it has a radius thirty seven by eighteen as a radius. So I already discussed about the how this particular things can be useful. So this can be used to calculate the orbit of planet using the Kepler's first law. So this shows that it is it is always related with the physical law. And uh, this is considered as a Kepler's first law. So whenever we have we have uh, three points in a space, there is a circle. Uh, then definitely we make a circle that passes through what all three points. Uh, so this is nothing but the Kepler's law that we have to follow. Now, next application is nothing but the population model, and uh, definitely here I consider it is a linear model. Uh, whenever we go with the differential equations, might be. Uh, that particular equations may be linear or nonlinear, but here the from the information uh, we can uh, make uh, it is a population model, and we develop it is a linear model. So whenever uh, we have a linear model, then and then we convert it to matrix. If the model is not linear, then we cannot convert it to matrix. So there is a direct relationship between the what matrix and the linearization. So whenever you anything is given in a matrix format. Then we can easily say that the matrix is a linear actually, and if it is not formatted in a matrix, then we can say that the, that particular model is what nonlinear. So matrix is a linear always. Now it is a population of rabbit actually. Uh, we already find that the, there are certain uh, problems in Australia. Uh, they have the huge uh, population of rabbits, and they have might be a annual budget in in their annual budget. Uh, they make the provision of uh, killing the rabbit because there are so many rabbits are there and they may destroy the crops uh, for, for crops uh, and uh, uh, they might be uh, having the huge loss in their uh, system so uh, here uh, there is one popular uh, I'll say story about uh, how uh, they are facing the problem why they are facing the problem of Rabbits. So, uh, but uh, we are not going uh, deft into that. But here, uh, there is certain information given to us, and on the basis of that, uh, here we can uh, convert our problems to what uh, the linear matrix forms. Now, 
this is a, a typical uh, structure that are provided as a applications of uh, population growth model. The population of rabbit, a rabbit has the following characteristic. Uh, half of the rabbits survive their first year. Means uh, the certain rabbits born, the 50% of rabbit is dead uh, during the first year. Of course, of those, half survive their second year. Means in a second year, suppose there are four rabbits are there and born in a uh, born at now. In a one year, only two left. After uh, the second year, means now we have only two rabbits. After uh, first, uh, sorry, in the between one and two years, uh, there are two rabbits and one of them are dead. So died. So in the third year, uh, it is only one rabbit left. And after the third year, completion of third year, the rabbit also be a died. So this is a maximum lifespan of rabbit is three years. So this is the way the, the life cycle of rabbits uh, we have. Uh, this is from the, the past experience or information. During the first year, rabbit produce no offspring. Why this happens actually? This, uh, during the first year, the rabbit produce no offspring. Means whenever there is a pair of rabbit, uh, then uh, they are not producing any offspring of rabbits. The average number of ex offspring is six during the second year. Whenever they have of six uh, second year, uh, then uh, first year is completed in the second year till the second year he may produce the six other rabbits also and the third year it uh, offspring will produce so from second to third year he produces uh, under eight uh, rabbits so the population of now consists of 24 means whenever we start to calculate the forms uh, the initial form of this particular things is nothing but 24 rabbits in the first age group 24 rabbits in the second age group and 20 rabbits in the third age group. So this is nothing but the typical uh, information we have, how we can uh, calculate uh, this particular formulation and to find out the how many rabbits there will be in each, uh, each age in a class one year. Means uh, in a win one year, what are the, the say uh, now, the how much rabbits are in uh, different different years that we have to find out find the stable and distribution vector from the initial po uh, population. So this is nothing but the use of the stable. How we can get the what stable age distribution vector from this particular problem. So let's, I can just go with this one. Now, here from the information, I convert into the what? Uh, the matrix or vector forms. The current age distribution is nothing but here we have 24 rabbit in the first age. Definitely their age is nothing but zero to one. 24 rabbits in the second age group, it's, their age is nothing but 1 to 2. 20, their age group is nothing but 2 to 3. The age transmission matrix, now uh, there is another information that we convert into matrix form. The average number of offspring is during is 6 during the second year and 8 during the third year. So this is nothing but in a first year, no offspring. Second year, they produce a five offspring, 6 offspring. Uh, and uh, in the third year, they produce a eight offspring. Now the other information is nothing but the half of the rabbit survive their first year. Means after first year, it is nothing but the half of the rabbit die. So here we multiply by 0.5. Means whatever the rabbit we have uh, in the second year, whenever it uh, reaches to the first year to second year, uh, half of them might be died. And from second to third, uh, again half of the died. So this is the information that we can get uh, from the uh, information. Now, after one year, the age distribution vector will be, so this is only x2 is equal to ax1. So this is nothing but a, this one is x1. So first expression, first after first year, we can get 304 rabbit that having the age group of zero to one, 12 rabbit that has an age group of one to two, 12 rabbit it of age of 2 to 3. Now, the this is nothing but the it is a drastically increase in the what age group one. Now, resultant of whenever we calculate this is after one, one year. Suppose we can just use x3 is equal to ax2, then this number might be increased. x4 is equal to ax3, then this number is increased, and this is not in our control. So that's why. We can just find out the stable age distribution vector 
so that uh, the population is always in a control to achieve the what uh, to to population within the controls so find an eigen values and here we can use the eigen values and eigen vector to find out the stable as distribution vector so here from this it is a uh, matrix this is a minus lambda i that we can find out so lambda is minus 1 and lambda is 2 uh, here we can say that minus 1 is not because it is a negative form so we can just take the positive value of that so here we can say that a minus 2 i equal to x so from that we can evaluate the value of x and ultimately we can get that x is equal to 16t plus 16t 4t and t this is nothing but in a first age group we have to take the multiplication of 16 uh, the amount of uh, rabbits that are multiplied in of 16 in a second age group we can take the multiplication of, uh, of uh, means rabbit it is a multiplicative of 4 and the third group uh, third age group instead of instead of 24 24 and 20 uh, this might be a 16 4 and 1 so you can start with this particular number of rabbits and uh, then you can what the controlling uh, your population of rabbit otherwise if you are not selecting this particular population uh, then uh, your growth is what uncontrollable so this is the way uh, the linear algebra may useful for controlling the what the population so this is nothing but here i can just go with t equal to 2 so it is 32 8 and 2 uh, for x2 it is 64 16 and 4 and this is the way we can uh, uh, grown up and this is the way the population is increased so uh, whenever we have 16 4 and 1 so here we can next level we have a 32 8 and 2 uh, in next level we have 64 16 and 4 so this ratio is always in a multiplication form of what 16 gem 4 gem 1 so this is the way we can control the what the age factor and the population of what rabbit inside the what uh, that particular domain okay uh, suppose i can just uh, not follow the uh, this genetics application it is uh, now the, this one uh, this is the last application that i follow it is a elimination theory generally whenever we have uh, uh, applications uh, elimination actually uh, generally we are gauss elimination method and uh, gauss jacobi method that we can use uh, to solve any problems but uh, that is there any other elimination theory is there uh, to find out the solution of the particular problems so here we can have a uh, many problems in a linear, linear algebra uh, that has a what system of uh, in which we can use the solving of system of linear equation let's uh, we have we use that uh, because it is a linear equation uh, that has a polynomial uh, in the form of degree 1 and uh, we generally uh, solve this particular equation by, uh, by the gauss el elimination method and uh, uh, from that uh, we can get the result actually now suppose uh, here we have a certain other kind of uh, uh, theory is actually uh, suppose we have a polynomial is it in the form of x cube minus 3x square plus 5x minus 3 equal to 0 and the other equation because it has a deal with the system of equation so next equation is nothing but 2x square minus 7x plus 5 now uh suppose we have to compute the whether it has a both having the common solution or not because this is a polynomial in x this is also a polynomial x whether the this particular value of x may satisfy value of this or this so for that uh, we have to compute uh using this way so this is fx is this one gx is this one we can get the what residue of fx and gx that might be in form of a so how is this one so this is with the polynomial of degree 3 this is of maximum degree of polynomial is 2 so combine of this two is nothing but the degree of polynomial of 5 so we may construct the matrix of 5 uh, by 5 how so let's i can just go with it is 2 uh, the coefficient of this gx is nothing but 2 minus 7 and 5 here we have coefficient is nothing but 1 minus 3 5 and minus 3 So let's we can just go with this one. So it is five by five matrix. We can start with two minus seven five zero zero. Now we can shift it uh, one place. So zero two minus seven five zero 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 two minus seven and five. Now the next one is nothing but x cube minus three x square plus five x minus three. 
that can be defined as 1 minus 3 5 minus 3 0 the next place is 0 1 minus 3 5 minus 3 whenever we make the determinant and this determinant is 0 then we can say that it has a common root so if this is a preliminary checking whether the polynomial given polynomial has a common root or not that you have to identify with what this kind of exercise so this is another thing with the uh, we can uh, get the elimination before using the elimination we can check whether the it has a uh, pro, uh, it has a common root or not so this is nothing but uh, we can use uh, this elimination theory to find out the uh, the root of that what system of equations also uh, system of polynomials also not system of equation system of polynomials so uh, let's uh, we can just uh, having the enough application regarding the uh, linear algebra and hope uh, this is nothing but the, somehow the other concept of linear algebra that are not covering this particular lecture so that's it towards the uh, things actually uh, so let's we can stop uh, my session over here uh, thank you okay if participants have any query then they can ask uh, kaushal sir Okay, here I uh, consider the basic concept of linear algebra. That definitely you are aware about it, but uh, because of uh, that, uh, why we are considering this one? Because of you know the the concept of algebra and you can visualize the algebra better. So my task is to nothing but the first you have to visualize the problem, or visualize the things how it can be worked, and then you apply to the particular application. Then that might be very useful for you. And here I consider the very basic applications. I am not consider the any modeling uh, task of that. Uh, here uh, there is already applications, and we can just how the linear algebra work for that. That I, I focus. Uh, sir, uh, yes. Huh? Uh, there is one question. Yeah. Uh, how can I solve a linear problem with some mm -hmm. inequalities? Oh, uh, in inequalities, there are nothing but optimization techniques is available. Uh, whenever we have equalities, then and then we can go with the linear, uh, this one. Otherwise, you can just uh, uh, use a graphical method or might be if you have an, more than one variables, then you can use a, uh, other simplex method. If there are, uh, might be a equation is linear, then simplex method is good for you. Uh, for that, the optimization technique is developed. It is a not task of uh, linear equations. Equation is always having the equality sign. Okay, okay. Uh, Ma'am, our first session was of optimization technique. Uh, if you missed that lecture, then uh, later you can find it uh, on our uh, YouTube channel, SNP ITNRC. So it might be helpful to you. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank yes. you. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, I want to ask you something that. Uh, yeah. uh, there is a machine learning that topic is uh, running uh, nowadays. So can you say that how linear algebra is uh, useful that in machine learning techniques? Actually, uh, machine learning technique might, uh, we are generally use the uh, neural network format actually. Uh, y is equal to, uh, there is nothing but some, uh, if you are going with the neural network, uh, yes. simple, neural, simple neural having the linearization form. So there is a classification actually, classification of pattern. So generally, classification of patterns may use the linear form. Uh, uh, and if it is uh, not linear, then there are might be other techniques are there. Generally, whatever the problems that we are dealing with in today's life, uh, that are all are non-linear. So very basic problems are dealing with the linearization. If you're having the large uh, set of uh, machine learning, uh, or might be the uh, your object is too high to achieve your goal, then definitely the linearization is not work for that. You have to use the uh, multi. Uh, uh, I, I not. Uh, uh, I just multi-layer neural network that you are use, and whenever you use the multi-layer neural network, then it is a non-linear. So single-layer layer network you can use for a linearization problem, but uh, whenever your problem is non-linear, you can go with the what multi-layer neural network. So that might be a solve your task. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, sir. Thank you. Any actually, what, actually, what happens whenever you whenever you deal with the uh, non-linearization, and uh, your you you may uh, convert your non-linear problems to linear problems. Uh, to uh, how uh, you can just uh, divide your problems uh, in your small parts. Okay. Suppose you have a graph and that is non-linear. So you have to divide your graph into what a small small part, and each yes, smaller piece part piece is yeah piecewise linearization. Yes, piecewise so, linear, that, right. so so you can you may uh, achieve your goal using the piecewise linearization technique also. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Any questions from the participants? Okay, then, uh, Tati, ma'am, please. Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Professor Khyati Patel. Now I am here to extend my sincere thanks to our honorable speaker for today's lecture delivered by Dr. Kausal Patel, sir. It was very interesting and informative. In this session, he discussed the basic concept of difference between functions and equations, then basic of linear algebra and with demonstration in MATLAB and also discuss application of linear algebra related to traffic flow, electrical network, cryptography, etc. I must mention our deep sense of appreciations for Dr. Kausal Patel sir for his ex uh, explanations in, his, in these sessions. Thank you so much sir for taking our uh, out valuable time from busy schedule and delighting of us with so deep knowledge. Once again, on behalf of the entire SNP IT and RC family, I am very much thankful to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And we would like to see you again in future in another sure, workshop sure. or SCTP, sir. Sure. I was always Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.